Hey everybody, welcome back to the VR Museum. We're back with another saved game from Extinction. This one is from 2015. Choose our input, we're gonna use our touch from Crazy Bunch Games. This is Break a Brick. Now this is a puzzle shooter that's uh, got a couple of fun, interesting things to talk about and let's hope everything works here because recording this one has been Quite the challenge. So here's the layout. We're in this huge galaxy that you could look around in. It's very, very nice environment. Really f makes the game feel kind of huge and epic. So select the universe we want to play in. This kind of path system is set up kind of like a mobile game. You work your way through it. Now, what is Break a Brick? Well, let's find out together. So you're going to look around with your head to move your ship. You're going to go left and right, and you can look up and down as well. Look at the column of the selected brick. Tap on it. To pull that brick in. Now you're going to shoot that brick out if you tap it again and you want to hit the brick of the same color. So, got 60 seconds here. Blue to blue, blue to blue, blue to blue, or teal, whatever you want to call it. You get three stars just like a mobile game, and these coins are the essential part of the game, and you can do so with speed, uh, and we'll talk about the multiplier system here in a little bit. But where it gets challenging is right here. You pull down a yellow brick. You want to hit a yellow brick to destroy them. Got a teal brick. Grab that teal brick. Destroy it. Move on. Get your score. Very simple. Now the rainbow brick matches with any color on the board. And you can use that to take them away. Now that's important because you're not going to always have an equal amount of colored bricks. Uh, and you're going to have a little bit of strategy. Or you're going to have bricks that you can't access quite yet or you might get yourself into a sticky situation where there's a yellow brick in the way and you really need to get to that teal brick because that's what you have saved or something you can pull a rainbow brick to move that around so we'll show you how that is in action rainbow to rainbow as well also works yellow to yellow teal to teal boom the quicker you do it the higher your score as well as the multiplier now the bricks coming at you grab them shoot grab them shoot again you're moving with your head so when I play I have one hand on the controller and I kind of have my head uh, my hand on the side of my head to kind of give it a little bit of stability so I'm not jerking around as much but now you see right there at the end I put a yellow brick to a blue brick lower score it wasn't effective, but most importantly ended the multiplier. And we'll talk about that here, because up here in the top left right there is the combo multiplier. Every time you match colors, it increases. Match the blue bricks, the combo is going to increase. The higher the score you get, match the yellows, it'll increase again. Now it decreases slowly over time, which is the speed factor of the game, which you want to get moving. It'll also end if you hit the wrong color uh, against another, and we'll see that in play here in a little bit. So grab that yellow, boom, move in quick. So you want to strategize, you want to see the playing field, you also want to move quickly, and you want to continue that score multiplier because you need to earn coins. And those coins allow you to unlock bonus levels, bonus modes, and other galaxies that you need to help. Now look, I just shot that one past, so that doesn't count, uh, and it's going to throw a monkey wrench into this because now I had to suck one in and it's going to give me a lower score. That multiplier is lower, but luckily enough, it's early enough where we still get three stars. So now, with the bricks coming at you, they're very, very slow. And it doesn't seem incredibly threatening right now as so I'm moving and grooving and moving and this is going to be incorrect. As you can see, that little red thing came up there on the multiplier, killing it, which means I'm not going to get the full three on this one. It's going to start to get a little more persnickety in terms of that. But as you can see, the more difficult it is, the higher up the bricks are there. I'm going to have to start looking up at them as they come down. Now, even though they're going slow, when there's, you know, 100 bricks stacked up there, it's going to start getting hectic because you're focusing on the colors, you're focusing on getting the multipliers on the patterns uh, and stuff like that. So it gets really, really interesting. So we'll match these two. Boom, and we're good to go. Level done on there. Now, of course, you can always go back and play levels to complete them. But so here, the shift brick changes color to aim carefully. Now, this is where a monkey wrench gets thrown to the gutty works. There are going to be these bricks. Couldn't really see it there, but we'll see it here in this next one. 
When you grab them, they are always consistently changing between blue and yellow. So that's important because that's going to end your uh, multiplier if you hit the wrong thing. And they are on a timer based system. So if you pull one in, it's going to change to yellow and it's going to change back to blue. You have to know that going into it so that you don't get yourself stuck. And this is something that took a really long time for me to kind of grasp my head around because you start with a, such a simple game and you start adding on to it uh, something else and something else and something else so that while it is easy, yes, your brain is now thinking of I gotta match these. Oh, I gotta worry about the time. Oh, I gotta worry about uh, these rainbow bricks that open up other areas on the board because I may not have a brick that matches yet. And then I have to worry about uh, all this other stuff, the changing bricks as well. So it does get pretty intense. And there are other special items on top of there. Uh, there are, we'll see one here in a second. There are like stone ones. There are different colors. It's not just two colors. You're going to get purples. You're going to get greens. You're going to get other uh, multiplier things. You're also going to get other abilities. There's going to be bombs and stuff. So it's not only does it get faster, not only does it get harder, and not only does the board continue to stack up where you're going to have to look up, a lot of other things are happening at once where surprisingly it becomes a really fun challenge that kind of has you coming back for more. Still, it doesn't get brutal in terms of gameplay. I wouldn't say that. It does get difficult. Uh, but it does encourage you to go back and replay the levels because you can open them up with coins. You have to pay to open up the next world or the next universe, which then opens up the next universe. Or you can choose to open up little side quest areas in your current universe and things like that. And of course, not real money since this is already paid for. But you get the idea. So it does encourage you to go back and play. So let's talk about this game a little bit while this goes on. The story, and yes, this does have a full story, uh, is pretty cringe-inducing even back in 2015. This is how <laughs> the team describes it. Look what the cats dragged in. The totally evil, colorful bricks are invading the peaceful cataverse. Don't trust their cuteness and help rescue Cat, which is your ship, to prevent a catastrophe. Oh, boy, the puns are intense. Uh, and it's making me feel icky already. <laughs> the action platformer, this action platformer is all about dexterity, savvy nature, and many fancy graphics and marvelous soundtrack included. It's catalicious. It's very difficult to read that with so many cat buns in there. So how do they describe the gameplay itself? Well, Break a Brick is a dexterity and strategy based puzzle shooter. Pull the evil bricks into Rescue Cat Spaceship, shoot them back, at matching bricks to destroy every brick on the screen. Match the right colors, hurry up to earn combo points, and go for the high score. Get all cat coins to unlock new galaxies, new game modes, and more. So it just the kind of game that kind of sorts of grows on top of itself and it just adds a new layer of uh, complexity that your brain has to kind of deal with. And I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's not super intense, but if you want that challenge, right, you can open up the harder galaxies and go for it. If you just kind of like this casual experience, you can play some of these smaller ones and just kind of have a good time back and forth. Now again, this was created by Crazy Bunch for the Gear VR and the Go platform. It does work with your controller or it does work with the side touch like the old Google Cardboard sorts of thing. Not a very uh, powerful game or doesn't really use VR to kind of immerse you in a world. Ooh, store the mug brick to slow down all other bricks. So if you grab the brick or the mug brick, it's going to slow down, uh, essentially pause them coming down to give you more time. So that's how it kind of adds on these little bonus features. Like I said earlier, you'll get uh, a bomb brick. There'll be other things that kind of interplay with that. So that's fun. So uh, a really simple game. Now, benefits to VR doesn't seem like there are much as something like this could technically be done on a console but it's the height of the bricks and you're gonna see this in a little bit where you look up and it's like you're looking up at a skyscraper uh, and it becomes kind of a daunting thing going oh crap this is all coming at me I better get to work where you couldn't really quite get that feel on a, on a screen you could if you kind of did that kind of Star Wars font 
depth kind of false depth thing um, but it's not quite as effective when you're sitting here when you have this on in this kind of space void it does feel like a big game so this game has 64 reviews on the meta store now that's something that I want to address real fast when the meta quest 3 which just launched which looks incredible looks interesting I have uh, the one I have the two I have the go the Samsung gear I'm interested in that coming up well hopefully this holiday season it seems like they truncated all old content so where I could find a game I could go on to the oculus go store and I could find games that are no longer being sold still popping up where I can look them up now I can't really do that anymore unless I know the game by title and find it it seems like it's they've hidden the kind of games you can no longer get now you can still buy games on the go which is still a great choice for a VR platform if you're just getting into it especially when you can find one on your local marketplaces for about 50 bucks complete and almost new and look how tall this is now now we're getting into some action uh, and I had a conversation, I guess not a real conversation, but someone uh, asked, like, on an older video of is the Oculus Go worth it and talking about how we didn't answer that. It's like, no, it's absolutely worth it. You have to think in terms of the Ocu the MetaQuest 3 is like, what, five, six hundred dollars. That's a huge investment to a lot of people, especially families. Um, anyone where you're responsible for bringing in a paycheck and paying bills, that's a lot of change to drop on something. So if you want to, especially if you don't know, VR is very difficult to sell to someone without them experiencing. Some people take to it really well, some people love it, some people get sick, some people don't like the experiences. So are you gonna take a chance on a platform for $600, or are you gonna take a chance on a platform for 50-ish bucks that has a still full library of games that you can enjoy. So yeah, the go is still worth it. That's why when we're trying to look up these games now, it's becoming even harder because they've kind of hidden them behind there. You can no longer find the Oculus Go store online. You can find uh, the games for sale online. You can find them on the Oculus Go themselves, but the ones that kind of aren't being sold anymore have been delisted. Whereas before, you could still find their information page. And this becomes problematic as a developer. Imagine yourself as a 20-year-old. You're just coming out of college, early 20s, and you start working as a game developer, and you're on a VR team. Say something like this, like break a brick, right? Early 2015, that early craze. And say 20 years from now, VR has taken over. It is the norm. It is the standard. And your kids ask, hey, what did you do back in the day? Weren't you involved in VR? And you go, yeah, I was on the early VR teams. I've made a couple of VR games. And your kids go, well, can we see them? Can we play them? And you go, no. They don't exist. You have to take my word for it. So that makes our archiving of this stuff even more important, more important than ever before. So now if you can see, we pull back to this, you can see how many coins you're going to need this planet is locked to unlock them there's a couple here where you can use them and you're gonna to have to go back to get three stars on everything so you're gonna to have to get good to take advantage of it now I could open up this next one since I have 45 coins uh, but I'm gonna need 115 you can use the coins any way you want you're still gonna to have to go back and get more so this is it this is essentially crazy bunch games uh, break a brick Olga ass rocks is that one person one person might have made this that's fantastic so we want to thank you for checking out this video we want to thank you for subscribing be sure to like and comment uh, if you try this game out let us know in the future other games that you remember that you may want us to track down and so we can save VR before it's gone so until next time thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next video